first of all, let's talk about light. What is light? Light is the energy. We're talking a lot about energy in this book, aren't we? There are many different types of energy. Light is the energy that makes it possible to see things. So remember, energy is something that causes change, right? So energy, if we see uh, with this energy, it allows us to see things. If we don't have light, right, there's no light, we can't see things. So light is energy that hits something, bounces back, and we can see it with our senses. So light is energy that makes it possible to see things. Without light, we cannot see. We need light to see. Okay, dark is the opposite of light. It's the opposite. Light, pandero, dark, right? Dark, dark means with no light, no light or very little light. Sure, there's some light, but it's very little light. So it's dark in this alleyway. There's light, sure. We can see, but there's very little light. So it's dark. We say it's dark. Also, of course, if there's no light at all, everything's black. That's, of course, dark as well. So dark just doesn't mean just no light. It can also mean little light. Okay, so a couple of things. Sure, there might be a little bit of light, but it's still dark out, so we have to really uh, look carefully to be able to see things. So light and dark. Okay, next we have shadow. What is a shadow? We can see a good picture here, right? This is the shadow of the boy right here. So a shadow is the dark place. This is dark, this is light. The shadow is the dark place here, made when an object, this boy is an object, blocks light. So he's blocking the light. The light is coming in this direction. It hits the boy and it stays on his head. It doesn't go through his head. It stays on his head. His head is blocking it, so it's blocking the light. Other light over here, it can go all the way down. It hits the ground and that's light. The light is not blocked. There's nothing blocking the light. Here, there's a boy blocking the light. He causes a shadow. He makes a shadow and this, of course, is his shadow. So when something blocks light, it creates a shadow. A good word in English, we say it casts. He casts a shadow. He casts a shadow. To cast a shadow, that's what he's doing because he blocks the light. Okay. At night, it's very dark. The sun is gone. There's no sun. So we need light to see by. Many cities will put street lights in their cities. Street light, of course, is two words. Street, this is a street, and of course light, this is a light. So this is a street light. Street lights are lamps on the street. Very easy, right? Street and light. They are lamps here that are on the street that allow us to see the city streets at night. This is a street where people are walking, but many streets in the cities are places where people drive. It's dangerous to drive if you can't see, if there's no light. So cities will put lamps on the side of the streets so that drivers and people who are walking can see and be safe. So street lights make cities safe. They are lamps on the street. Next we have this word here, pass. Pass, in this case, is a verb. This is an interesting picture. Pass means to go through. So what's going on here? We have our light. Light is coming in this direction. This is light. It hits this prism. By the way, this is a prism. Prism. What happens is the light is passing through, but it's very interesting what happens to light when it passes through a prism. The light will hit here, it will change direction, and this prism will separate the light into many different colors. So sure, the light is passing through to go through. It's going through this piece of glass. It's going through, but when it passes through the glass, the glass is different from air. It's denser. It separates the light, and that's what happens. It passes through. On the other side, it comes out, 
and you can see all the different colors that light is made up of. So it's very fascinating, right? It's passing through, sure, but it's being split up. If we look at a window, light passes through a window, but it's not being separated by the, uh, the angle of this glass. It's, it's just going straight through. So light passes through a window very easily because a window is transparent. So to pass through just means to go through. Light passes through some things. Light doesn't pass through all things. Okay. Sunglasses. Here we have another two-part word. Sun is our first word. Glasses is the other word. I'm wearing glasses. Are these sunglasses? No, they aren't. Sunglasses are dark glasses. My glasses are not dark. These glasses are dark. These are sunglasses that protect your eyes from the sun. People wear sunglasses when they're outside. And sure, when I go outside, I change my glasses to sunglasses because you want to protect your eyes from the sun. Be careful. The sun can be dangerous to your eyes. Don't look at the sun, right? Even if you have sunglasses, don't look at the sun. But if you're outside, it's a very bright day. There's a lot of sunlight out. You might want to wear dark sunglasses or just sunglasses because they protect, they protect your eyes from the sun, which is important. Look out after your eyes. Be careful with your eyes. Okay. Where can we get light? Well, one place we can get light is from a candle. And this is a good picture of a candle. A candle is something, it's an object, that is burned. Burned. This flame is burning the candle, right? For light. We burn the candle because we want to have light. If we want more light, we burn more candles. Okay? Light will be coming from the candle. Also, sometimes candles smell good, but our main purpose is for light. We burn candles for light. So if the electricity in your house goes out and you don't have a flashlight, you can light a candle to look around. But be careful because it's burning. That's fire. Be careful with that, Joshim Hale. It's safer, of course, to use a flashlight. A flashlight is the same uh, idea as a candle, we use it for light, but it's a small lamp that uses batteries. It uses electricity. Electricity is in the batteries and we turn it on or off to get light. So a flashlight is safer than a candle. By the way, just so you know, in uh, United Kingdom, in England, they don't say a flashlight, they call this a torch, which is interesting. <clears throat> and that's in the U. Okay. In the United Kingdom, uh, people from the United Kingdom will call it a torch. So if you go to England or Ireland or Scotland, don't call it a flashlight. They may not know what you mean. You can call it a torch instead. They understand that. But if you go to America, don't say you want a torch <laughs> because a torch is a piece of wood that burns, right, in America. In the United Kingdom, a torch is this. In America, say it's a flashlight. Okay. Lesson 11. Light. Light. Light is the energy that makes it possible to see things. Dark. Dark means with no or very little light. Shadow. A shadow is the dark place made when an object blocks light. Street light. A street light is a lamp on the street. Pass. Pass means to go through. Sunglasses. Sunglasses are dark glasses that protect your eyes from the sun. Candle. A candle is something that is burned for light. Flashlight. A flashlight is a small lamp that uses batteries. <laughs>